In this day and age, when everything is charging somewhere, getting another USB hub is a must, especially for notebook users that only have one USB port which is already taken by a Bluetooth scented candle. The Sabrand HP U930 by its product name is a USB 3.0 hub that has dedicated charging ports and can be installed in multiple positions. But being an older product, is it still good nowadays? The Sabrent 7 ports USB 3.0 hub plus two charging ports is a long name, but this USB hub is not long at all. Actually, it has a height of just 6 cm or 2.6 inches, or just taller than a Pentax Takuman vintage lens. The price for this small form factor USB hub is no less than 33 US dollars on the Sabrent website and on most online retailers. Of course, the prices will vary, but you get the idea. Let's start with the obvious. This USB hub is small and will do great on any desk. In addition to its reduced dimensions, it has this nifty base that just slides onto the body of the hub and allows it to stand vertically. You never truly appreciate a vertical USB hub until you have one and you use it on a daily basis. Before we get into the design and internal construction, let's see what's included with this hub. You get a user manual and a warranty card, a power brick, a USB data transfer cable that hooks at the back of the unit and two screws for mounting the base to a wall. You also get the base itself that installs on the bottom but you already know about that one. The design of this hub is good, it's made from plastic, this includes the base as well, and has no less than 7 data transfer USB 3.0 ports, 2 at the front, the blue ones, and 5 at the back of the unit. The red USB ports are made for high speed USB charging and are directly connected to the power AC system of the hub, so just so you know. At the back and lower part of the hub you have the main USB transfer port in the shape of a USB type B connector and above it you have a round AC power slot and that's about it for the ports. Opening this little USB hub is easy, you just pry open the case and it will snap out. Be careful when you do this because the side panel is only held in place by plastic clips and doing this one too many times will break them. With the panel removed, we get to see the inner works of the hub and removing the rest of the case is a breeze. Straight away, we get to see that the soldering quality is good enough but it could have been a lot better. There's also some residue left from the manufacturing process or perhaps some type of adhesive meant to keep the PCB attached to the casing, one or the other. The hub uses not one but two USB 3.0 controllers, made by Genesis Logic and with the model number GL3510. This is not a new controller as it has been with us for a while now, but it has seen a wide use for USB hubs and thus it has a proven record for working reliably. The installation is simple, you just plug the power cable and brick into your power outlet and the USB Type-C P cable into the back of the hub and the PC or the notebook and that's pretty much it. Yes, this USB hub has an activity LED and it's blue and quite bright and it cannot be turned off. Another thing to keep in mind is that you need to have this hub plugged into a power outlet otherwise no USB ports work. Other hubs will work while only being plugged into your PC. The performance is as good as it gets, you won't win any transfer speed races with this hub as you are being limited by the controller and of course by the USB 3.0 device you will be using, so don't bother with high speed USB Type-C adapters because you won't get much that way. What the Sabrent 7 port USB 3.0 hub plus two charging ports is made to do is to be a USB hub that is compact and works, and that's it. It's well made and it offers USB 3.0 speeds plus two dedicated USB charging ports. The blue status LED can be intrusive but it can always be covered by some type of tape. What I don't like about this hub is the requirement to have it plugged into a power outlet to work, a thing which other USB hubs do not need. If you are like me and needed a compact USB hub that can stand vertically on your desk and just works, then this hub is a good choice, especially for under 40 US dollars. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Substarter pages of this channel.